Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about 6 diode sampling gator. In the previous videos we have seen a 1 diode sampling gate we have seen, 1 diode sampling gate we have seen and later we have moved to 2 diode sampling gate and then we have seen 4 diode sampling gate and now we are going to see 6 diode sampling gate. So one diode sampling gate, it is a unidirectional sampling gate where it can transmit only uh, the sample of either positive or negative input signal. Okay, even the input signal consisting of both positive and negative, the one diode sampling gate can transmit only either positive signal or negative signal. That's why it may be called as unidirectional sampling gate. And the two diode sampling gate, of course, it is used to transmit both the positive peak and as well as negative peak. That is why it consisting of two diodes. So two diodes, one is connected in the forward bias recognition, another one is connected in the reverse bias recognition. That's why the positive peak and as well as negative peak can be transmitted from input to the output as a sample. Okay, not the entire signal will be going during the on period, during the gating pulse, the input signal will be sent to the output. And later we have seen four diode sampling gate where two diodes are working for positive peak and two more diodes are working for negative peak. At a time only two diodes are in on state. Now six diode, six diode, it is an extension of, it is an extension of four diode sampling gate. Four diode sampling gate. The same circuit we will consider but with additional two more gates. Okay, those two two more diodes. Those two diodes are connected with power supply like VC and VN. Okay, two additional diodes used with VC and minus VC, Vn and minus Vn as power supply voltages, power supplies, okay. Now let us see the circuit diagram of this 6 diode sampling gate. Here is the 6 diode sampling gate where there are 6 diodes. So those two 6 diodes are also made up of resistors. So see here, R2 is a resistor which is actually a diode here. R2 is a diode, not a resistor. Okay, here it is shown with respect to the internal circuit, internal resistance. Internally, the diode is having some resistance that is shown here. But this is diode D5, and here it is also connected in the same direction, which is D6. Okay, so totally there are six different diodes d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 d6 see here d1 d2 d5 d6 these four diodes and the resistors are c except this particular part and this part remaining everything is a part of four diode sampling gate okay additionally we are connecting the diodes like d3 and d4 okay now the input for this D3 and D4 which are additionally connected are Vc plus Vc or minus Vn for this diode D3 and if you see for a diode D4 it is minus Vc plus Vn. That means if we say we are giving the Vc voltage that means on the left hand side it should be applied with the positive Vc and on right hand side it should be applied with minus Vc and similarly if I am saying we are applying the N potential N voltage then on the left hand side it is given with negative minus Vn and on right hand side it is given with plus Vn okay opposite cases we have to apply here it does not mean that here we are applying minus Vc and here it is plus Vc okay it is either plus Vc or minus Vn on the left hand side on the right hand side it is either minus Vc or plus Vn okay now 
let us see the situation when the diodes here there are two operations only one is either that the additional diodes d3 and d4 are may be in the circuit or may not be in the circuit suppose d3 and d4 are given with vc and minus vn respectively okay so d4 and d3 and d4 are given with plus vc and minus vn see here d3 should be applied with plus vc and d4 is applied with minus vc okay minus vc it is minus vc okay minus vc then what happens what is the status of d3 and d4 d3 is given with positive peak and d3 n terminal is given with positive peak and d4 p terminal is given with negative value that means d4 and d3 both are in off state d4 and d3 that makes d3 and d4 are in off state when these two diodes are in off state the six diode sampling gate will be equivalent working with respect to four diode sampling gate then six diode sampling gate replicates the operation of four diode sampling gates four diode sampling gate okay now let us see the opposite case suppose d3 and d4 are given with minus vn and plus vn respectively so minus vn and plus vn see what happens minus vn means d3 comes into on state and plus vn means d4 comes into on state because d4 p type terminal is connected with positive that is sufficient to say that the, the diode d4 is in on state and d3 negative to n terminal n type terminal is connected with minus vn so it is connected with negative so we can say that diode d3 is in on state both d3 and d4 are in on state so what happens the points p1 and p2 are connected with these grounds so whatever the input we are giving here plus v volts that will be grounded through this one and whatever the input voltage i am giving here minus v that will be grounded through this diode that means the input will be taking the same signal as a current so there is no flow of current in this direction and there is no flow of current in this direction so the input will not go to the other hand and similarly the input signal will go like this and cannot go like this so both diodes d3 and d4 are on both diodes are on so output is equal to zero there is no output but here in this case output is equal to input output is equal to input because diodes d3 and d4 are in off state and remaining diodes are in on state whenever we are giving a trigger uh, gating pulse but here irrespective of the gating pulse when the diodes are in on state automatically the input pulse we are giving that will be going back okay so output is equal to zero there is no connection between output and input okay this is about the operation of the six diode sampling gate if you see the minimum voltage required the only change is that the control voltage vc and minus vc of that six diode sampling gate are replaced by fixed voltages v and minus v so that the signal transmission always taking place okay so we should have a minimum value of 
we should have a minimum value of v we should have a minimum value of v because v minus v that are given with see here plus v we are giving and minus v we are giving there should be some minimum value to make the operation as usual assuming that assuming that rf is less than less than rl or rc is given by so rf is less than less than rl what do you mean by rf rf is nothing but forward resistance and rc is nothing but the control resistance we are giving at the diode okay rl is the load resistance which is connected at the top side see rl is the load resistance rc is here and rf is the forward resistance of the diodes then the minimum voltage is given by v minimum is equal to vs supply voltage into 2 plus rc by rl these are empirical relations and if a balanced voltage divider resistance and if a balanced voltage divider balanced voltage divider resistance r is used then v min is given by so what happens v min is equal to vs into 2 plus rc by rl into 1 plus r by 4 rf 1 plus r by 4 rf okay so these are the minimum voltages required and now let us see what are the applications of sampling it's very very important what are the basic applications of sampling it what we are doing here application means so the main purpose of sampling it is to send a sample of input signal to the output whenever a gating pulse is occurred so uh, mainly sampling oscilloscopes are there in the CROs in CRO one of the types of oscillation oscilloscope is nothing but a sampling oscilloscope where the samples of input signal will be sent to the output so in that case we will use the sampling data so they are usually commonly used in multiplexers multiplexers we are using and sample and hold circuit sample and hold circuit sample and hold circuit digital to analog converter digital to analog converter chopper stabilized amplifier chopper stabilized amplifier so chopper means cutting the input signal into very small intervals and fifth one is sampling scopes i said one sampling oscilloscopes sampling oscilloscopes okay so we are using the sampling gates in the multiplexers sample and hold circuit we know multiplexer we know sample and hold circuit sample and hold circuit means the input signal will be sampled for n number of time intervals uh, for a fixed time interval for n number of samples okay when you are going to reconstruct that signal at the receiver we should use this sample and hold circuit in the reconstruction part receiving part so in order to see let us suppose this is sample signal when this type of sampling signal is given then sample and hold again 
sample and hole, sample and hole, sample and hole. In this way, the reconstruction will be done. Digital to analog converter. Digital signal like ones and zeros will be converted into a continuous signal. Chopper stabilizer amplifier. Input signal will be cut into n number of samples with a specific duration. Okay. The example for this one also like this it will be having. Okay. The difference between the previous one and this one is previously we are using the sample and hole circuit where the input signal is sampled and capacitor slowly charges to the next level. But here it is chopper stabilizer amplifier the input signal will be cutting into number of small intervals and sampling oscilloscope sample of the input signal can be transmitted to the input from the input. Uh, sample of the input signal can be transmitted to the output from the input. Okay. So these are the various applications of the sampling aids and that is the six diode sampling aid explanation. Thank you.